Ocean is multidisciplinary. It brings in a whole number of different disciplines like physics, chemistry, biology. If you want to understand the ocean and how you manage it and govern it, we need to know how all of these different disciplines act together. So this is a really opportune time to introduce such a degree to allow students to be able to understand the different facets of the ocean. Most of the challenges now facing our ocean are complex and complex challenges require very sophisticated solutions. So if we think about some of the uh, challenges that we see, some of the problems facing our ocean, all of these issues involve both scientific knowledge and expertise, they also involve technology, new resources, but as well as government, non-government and community involvement. Only by bringing together these different aspects can we truly try and achieve solutions for those problems. Because 75% of the planet is oceans, it's vastly undiscovered, it has a great potential for providing solutions to many of the world's problems around food security, biosecurity. So we need not only scientific experts, but we need people with strong policy and governance and cultural understandings to work on building a whole team of leadership across the planet. We need ocean leadership across the, across the Indian Ocean uh, because at the moment the, the threats to our way of life are real and in our face. And we need students that have a broad degree that can lead uh, multidisciplinary projects in their own countries across the Indian Ocean. Eight core units which will cover everything they might need to know in relation to leading uh, research organisations focused on, on ocean research. The Masters is delivered in different modes, so you might have weekly lectures or very intensive lectures, hands-on, field trips etc. So it gives a whole variety of different modes of delivery. Uh, but also it allows a core subject to be delivered and then the students have the ability to pick their interests. And I think what that allows, even though there are groups of students, of, uh, if with groups of disciplines, we actually share the coffee rooms together, we share the, meet, the breakout space, the meeting rooms, it gives students a lot of opportunity to do more multidisciplinary and cross-disciplinary research. The Oceans Graduate School is now designed to improve the student experience. Students are exposed at a research level, but we want to train them for a changing world. We are housed within the Indian Ocean Marine Research Centre, which has buildings on the Crawley campus and at Watermans Bay. These buildings include both offices, areas for students and staff to work on their research, but also important lab facilities, state-of-the-art laboratories in which research can be conducted. And at Watermans Bay, that involves seawater being pumped directly into labs because the premises are located right on the coast. The ocean is not just one subject. You don't have one person to be able to have one discipline. So the collaboration is really important so that people understand the different viewpoints, the different expertise, how we can put them together to develop different solutions to ocean problems. 